Hi, I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Firestone Walkers DBA. That's their double barrel ale. 5% ABV. The classic is a British Pale Ale. And the interesting thing about it is it's got a great, Firestone Walkers got a great website, gives you loads of details. Uh, and I guess the unique thing about this, it's been uh, fermented in their Firestone Union oak barrels. It says, uh, and then the malt, uh, two row, premium two row, Marisota, Munich crystal chocolate, hops of bittering is Magnum, late in kettle is Styrian Goldings, East Kent Goldings, and then dry hop proof East Kent Goldings. So an interesting one, a multiple award winner, Firestone Walker, I kind of think is the best brewery in the world from the beers I've had. This one, if you look on Rare Beer, it's not the most highly rated beer that they do, but it's one I've never tried and I'm always going to jump at the chance of throwing a Firestone Walker bottle. Picked this up recently at GB Beer. Can't see any date on the name, apparently it is on there somewhere. Shouldn't be too bad, probably might be about a month, month and a bit old. It's well within its their kind of recommended drink by drink by date. So beer in the glass. Yeah, I mean it's a lovely kind of shiny copper, slightly reddish hue to it. Perfect clarity. I think it is probably bottle conditioned. Hmm, maybe not. Good brisk carbonation and a nice kind of off-white newspaper coloured head. So let's check out the aroma. Oh yes, absolutely is. Smells like a lot of British pale ale. Earthy, I'm getting kind of wet leaves. Bay leaf actually more. Maybe a hint of kind of wet newspaper. Uh, mild kind of hard toffees with the originals that kind of thing is that kind of hint of butter which is probably coming through from, from those oak barrels not if I still walk around going to brew a beer with diastol it's definitely coming from that oak so you're getting that kind of vanilla soft kind of freshly baked bread Smells nice, but definitely smells very British, very British, but in a good way, I mean that top end of that kind of traditional style. It's not a style I drink much of, but let's dive in. Cheers. It's really quite nice. Definitely um, conjured up ideas of, well, memories of their, um, um, the Pale 31, but without that American edge. It's definitely that backbone of kind of British um, flavour that you get from that. As I said before, it's spicy. Ginger, root ginger. Bay leaf, maybe a hint of cardamom. Something, yeah, quite a, a wholemeal bread to the flavour. of kind of spicy hops, nutmeg, like a blunt, um, a blunt lemon. There's definitely a hint of lime and melon in there, like a cantaloupe melon. Actually, a lot of cantaloupe melon. Hint of topsoil. Mildly smoky, very very mild smoky, in that more of an ashy kind of smell, like a cigarette, sort of like an ashtray. It definitely does what it's setting out to do, to absolute perfection. If you look at beers from kind of Shepherd Neem, um, Fuller's, and even breweries like Badger still have a hint of this hidden in there. But you can tell, but there's a lovely, cle a lovely cleanness to this that doesn't overset those masks. Definitely, stuff like Shepherd Neem, without that Shepherd Neem, pungent kind of, well, not pungent, but a big. Uh, malt, not malt, yeast character you get from Shepherd Neem beer. Isn't in this, it's a lot cleaner, crisper. But everything else, the hops and malt, really are very, very similar to that. 
And I mean, if you're into British kind of style beer and you're living in America, that'd be an absolute treat. I live in Britain. I'm not that bothered about this style of beer in particular. So for me, it's not kind of like, I'm not jumping up and down. But I know what it is, and I know it's done very, very well. So that's a bottle of Firestone Walker from Paso Robles in California. It's their DBA double barrel ale. A British pale ale. Fermented, I think fermented. Oh, excuse me, it's quite gassy. In their signature Firestone Union oak barrels. You can definitely get a lot of that oak actually, yeah. If I didn't mention that before, definitely loads of oak. But bring that lovely soft vanilla, maybe Madeira cake kind of thing. Decent stuff. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.